No, sir. <laughs> keep the, you keep the t-shirt. I'm, I guess I'm halfway old school. <laughs> hey, look. No, <laughs> we, you know, we young niggas. <laughs> look, for real. I'm using a lighter. <laughs> You ain't fucking up this smile, nigga. This smile get me too much pussy from a side <laughs> shot. What the niggas say? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, we you. back. Another episode. BYOB. We here, man. I got a, a special guest in the building. I ain't special. I got a special guest in the building. Well, fuck it. Yes, I am. I got a special guest in the building. Ace Boogie with the hoodie. Man, we here, man. Can I say that? We we might fuck around and get... <laughs> fuck these I mean, niggas. I ain't got <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I, I ain't got nothing for them to sue me for. No, but. I mean, they, they ain't gonna take shit. I, mean, I ain't got this, nothing to get this sued goes for. Way back. I had this nickname. Well, not the hoodie part. But <laughs> I was Ace Boogie back when I was goddamn 10, 11 years old. So yeah. that nigga won't even. Your uncle it. gave you that nickname, didn't he? Nah. That sounds like some uncle shit. You want to know some real shit? Go oh, ahead, hey, Ace Boogie. <laughs> Ace Boogie. You know your uncle always treats you like you the coolest the corniest, nigga in the world. Like, for real, the way I got my nickname had to yeah. be some of the illest shit. I was living out Cambridge Manor. We didn't have a laundry, re- a laundry room. We had to go to the laundromat behind that Popeyes that's over there in um, exactly Indian Room. They had Mortal Kombat. It was a nigga in there. I used to always be on the sticks. Nigga could never get me off. Pause. The nigga, the nigga came in that bitch, and he was like, "Yo, if I beat you, I get to put my initials over top of your shit." I'm like, "You're not gonna beat me, Mons. Let's go. We ain't got time." I'm like, "Nah, I'm gonna put my joint in there after I win. Beat the nigga." Put in, I meant to put in ABC just to be on some dickhead shit. Yeah. And I end up putting in ACE. <laughs> and me and the little nigga got the rumbling. Because <laughs> he kept calling me Ace. He was like, oh, you Ace, this, 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 and this. My mama thought this shit was funny. Shit started, and ain't never stopped. And, but then the funny thing is, when I start rapping, you know, niggas add the boogie onto it. It's yeah. The boogie, boogie monster. That's, that's <laughs> Ace Boogie, man. Shit took off from there. But. That A Boogie with the hoodie, they could keep that. Well, well A Boogie is in this motherfucker. How'd so, you bitch? Toast up, toast up, toast yeah, up. You already know. Yeah, man. Henny is in rotation. So, as as always, we always start with music and shit. So, you heard that Wiz um, currency shit? Yes, 2009? Yes, sir. That was, I was very I keep calling cool. it How Fly, too. I don't care. What yeah, the, I was about I don't to care say. what the name really is. You know what we, I mean? we, we knew what it was when it was presented to everybody we yeah. knew what was gonna happen as soon as they heard the name of it we just knew what was gonna happen and they got that concert coming up which is about to be crazy that shit sold out in a day yes that is about to be crazy that shit sold out in a day i mean that shit is gonna be because i went up there uh on the jump kyle had sent me the pre-order link that mm-hmm. shit was already how the fuck the pre-orders is going? You was going to have to, what's that uh that store that's up there right by the north? Is it AM, PM or some, something like that? It's like um, a little I, restaurant. Yeah. They usually sell the tickets when I go. Yeah. I usually just go get them from them because sometimes they'll have them. Even if they might be sold out online, they'll still have some extra. But I've realized I won't get in there. So it was what it was. But speaking of which. If any other ladies have any tickets and you would like a plus one, I'm always available. A, a lot. Let me know. A lot. And that was Jada that said that. <laughs> just, just know. That was. He said, I need tickets. <laughs> I need tickets, B. I need tickets. I know it ain't sound like me, but you know, I got this code coming on. That was, yeah. Uh, yeah. I just yeah, sounded sure. like Ace real quick, but that was. <laughs> so bring me, lady. So, uh, what you think about the album? What was your first I love thought? It. Yeah, I definitely rode to it. Rode yeah. to yeah, it. Yeah, rode to it. <laughs> rode to it. Yeah, that's the only way. To me, that was the only way to listen to it first. Yeah. I got off work. It was twelve o'clock. Yeah, I got off work. I was like, that's "Well, shit. we gonna we gonna lock in. We gonna zone out. We gonna lock in." And that's Spitter, shit like that. Spitter, who you think the best out the two? Mm. Mm. Lyrically, I say lyrically. Lyrically, I'm gonna say I think Spitter get more busy lyrically, but just just that overall motherfucking yeah. Wiz dog. I yeah. can just I can just ride with Wiz man. Like nigga, I still bump Cushion Orange Juice like everybody. He do. just dropped it. I still did. bump Taylor all the dice like he just dropped it. Like <laughs> that shit hit the streets <laughs> hard. That like, shit hit the streets hard. Like Taylor all the dice. That shit still like 
Man, a new album to me. I still bump. I got it in my playlist, regular rotation now. Mm-hmm. Cabin Fever. Cabin Fever gets so much rap. Yeah, Cabin Fever one. <laughs> not not taking away from two, two. but Cabin Man, Fever one. Man, the phone numbers, the uh, the gang bang, yeah. all them joints. No, that's hard. that's the song that made me start liking Big Sean. Yeah, like me personally. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. A lot of people. I I've heard we have these conversations. You know, niggas be talking. <laughs> We had, I'd be like, niggas leave Big Sean out of a lot of shit. But if yeah. you listen to that Dark Sky Paradise and a lot of the other shit he's done. Detroit. Like, the, all Detroit. the finally famouses. Like, the boy, boy is up there. It's a lot of, yeah. I like seeing how all of them are coming into their own now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, they realizing. And it, it took help from the little young niggas out here while. Yeah. But all of them now is getting to the point where, like, they know they music-wise. No, that's why I feel like. And a lot of a lot of people disagree. Social media people, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know how that shit goes. Them niggas. Like, I feel like Big Sean and Wale should be in the same yeah. argument as motherfucking Cole, Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Drake. Like, I feel like they there. Yeah. They and they honestly on some exclusive shit for the BYOB team and the podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh Drum, that's my man's. Yeah. That's my man's from way back. Man, he put me on to some shit. Like a while ago, like mm-hmm. Big Sean and them niggas, he had mad people come out to his crib out there. Yeah. Oh, all these niggas. He was like, yo, the shit was love. Everybody was there to create and yeah. all this shit. He said the nigga Wale came in there on some shit like, oh, y'all niggas don't fuck with me. Y'all ain't gonna wait. <laughs> this and this and this. I was like, the nigga was acting like that. And then I thought about it. I said, it's Wale. It sound he, about right. Nah, he, he a little sensitive. They said him and him and uh, Big Sean was kind of like, you know, Sean was hosting the jump, so he was yeah. like, yo, don't be coming in here with that. But he said, I bet you if I was cold, y'all wouldn't start acting like that. Now, this the funny part about it. Right after that, what was the name of the joint cold drop? When he went at for, Wale. For, when, he, when, when he went at Wale. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was like two days later, yeah, cold dropped that joint. He was talking about how... Um, while they just he mm-hmm. don't realize how great he is yeah. and all that yeah, yeah yeah he went at Kanye the same track and it was two days later I was like my, now mind you drum hit niggas like yeah. drum hit niggas yeah, yeah. and he told niggas what happened so two days later that shit dropped I was like <laughs> oh this nigga Cole is he's shysty but he nasty though <laughs> so that shit was love and I'm like man it's a lot of good artists out here man it's a lot of them yeah. and music music right now man I kinda I love where music is at Oh you yeah, man. Yo, music is in such a great a uh, great space right you, now. You get everything. You get everything. They got the young niggas doing their thing and wilding how they wilding. Now the older folks are sitting there, like the old head, old heads like mm-hmm. Nas and them, now they just sitting back dropping verses every goddamn six yeah. months or something just to goddamn throw something out there. And you know, no, the crazy thing is, because we were talking about last episode, you know, middle child, Cole, mm-hmm. Cole trying to bridge the gap. Mm-hmm. But he been doing that. Yeah, niggas yeah. forgot he wrote "Let Nas Down." Yeah, he did. <laughs> niggas he forgot did. like, and that's one one of my favorite Cole songs, dog. And then for Nas to take time yeah, out of his reply. day to yeah. to jump back on that beat and let you know, like, yo, my nigga, you good? You know what I'm saying? You know, I wrote you owe me. You know, so what I, put I the, understand. You know what put the pressure on him though? And this and this is pressure. It's big pressure. Is that? Kendrick is a fucking monster yeah, where he wants yeah. to be. And niggas started, like, really started comparing because, like, people like us who enjoy music, yeah. we can break this shit down. So now it's getting to the point, like, we had our Jay-Z and Nas. Yeah. We had a Biggie and Pop. We got our Jay-Z and Nas. It's like, what the fuck is next? Yeah. For one, it ain't gonna be Drake. I'm sorry. It ain't nah. gonna be Drake because, like, we understand Cause what Drake, you do. Because Drake is a machine, man. Yeah. It's like... That's, Drake is a machine. He... Drake is like Lady Gaga yeah. or Beyonce yeah. or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Beehive. Beehive. I'm not <laughs> saying. I'm <laughs> not saying. You about to have them on your top. They about to I'm be like, say saying. something wrong. Say something wrong about the queen. I can hear it now. He ain't shit like Beyonce. I'm, I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm saying the formula is But the that nigga, and then, yeah. you know what's funny about that? Kevin that, Hart, like all of them is, yeah. in, in their respective fields, are the same, one and yeah. the same. You know what I'm yeah, saying? they and they the they, they go hard. They go hard with it. They definitely go hard with it. But that Kendrick and Cole shit, mm-hmm. niggas is waiting. Niggas that that TDE Dreamville joint, yeah. whatever it do pop, because it's gonna it's got it's oh, gonna yeah, pop. It, it's definitely gonna. And who you think got, gonna have that out of that? 
I feel like Kendrick is gonna feel like he got more to prove, even though this is this is I know how Kendrick mind mm-hmm. works. He's gonna try. He's gonna try to control. Yeah. Like the song, not try to control the project. He's gonna try to. On the like, tra- like on, this, on the like, one yeah, track. He's gonna on try to control. Yeah. But like, I think they're gonna go in. But I I think Kendrick is gonna treat it like feature Kendrick, which is. Like nigga, feature Kendrick is like that nigga. Is, he don't play. You know what I'm saying? He he's the, when when Kendrick is on features, like nigga, what the fuck? When I hear the city game, shit, oh yeah, yeah, like nigga, and game eight, like he niggas do he good. He smoked the yeah, track, bro. Niggas he do good. smoked niggas, the track. It's just not and enough. And then Kendrick is like, <laughs> I'm gonna use my verse for the. <laughs> and that's when I tell you when like, it come to Kendrick doing that shit. This is this is my knock on Kendrick when yeah. he rap when he rap against dope ass artists. Yeah. Which is is strategic at a at a sense, so I understand it. But when we want to hear you go off on the track, we want to hear you do the same thing yeah. that you did on control where you snap the whole time. Yeah. On the holy key joint with Big Sean. Yeah, yeah. They don't like giving Big Sean his credit for that. And yeah. Big Sean snapped and Kendrick first half of his verse. Kendrick does this. I don't know if a lot of people know this. First half of Kendrick verse, he was he was all right, blah yeah, blah yeah, yeah. blah blah, and then he switched to that alien shit. And when he switched to that alien shit, that's, that's, that's when, when he, yeah, yeah that's, that's when time. he started getting off. And it was like to me, I was like niggas niggas understand that. That's why it's so hard for him with Cole, cause Cole don't got that switch. Cole will just go. Yeah. The whole yeah, yeah, time, yeah, yeah. Cole will be going, thing, yeah. and then you just gotta try to hope that you can find a place <laughs> where you can jump in and your verse can be better than his. But he ain't gonna right. let it happen. So, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving music, and I'm loving where it's at right now. So, um, who, who album? Rather, is actually like rather you actually heard it dropping or not? Who album are you looking forward to this year? Ross. I said the same. Ross. I said the I same. Gotta, but gotta, my yeah. number two is Two Chains. Yeah, Two Chains always gonna have some good shit. Yeah, but man, I I heard some shit. I don't know if you know what I mean I ain't up there up with them there, niggas. Yeah, so, I, but I don't know if the shit I heard is really the shit that's. But if the shit I heard is the shit that's, yeah. that's Two Chains hasn't fell off. Hold on, I mean I can't even say fell off. He ain't really Two Chains tried. haven't had a bad verse since. Mercy. <laughs> I want to say Two Chains has not had a bad verse since Mercy. Yeah. Any anybody track he yeah. was on, he has not have he has not had a bad verse. Matter of fact, mean, was which one was was fucking problems before Mercy? Damn, I don't think so. Uh, but whatever, I just remember when Mercy came out, and but they don't try to. I think because of who was on fucking problems with him, I think they, they try to overlook. He held his like, own. He, he, he held his own. Shit. Like he held his but own. No, niggas don't realize like Two Chains been holding his own. Like, yeah, yeah, when yeah. He held his own. Banks, all the niggas all on the, the song. Niggas. Like, oh, yeah, come yeah, yeah. on. Oh, with no, the uh, when they champions. Used to fuck with yeah. you, with, when when Titty used to fuck with G Unit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like the, the same way he, he, does, he is yeah. with good music. Yeah. yeah he yeah. was. I mean, I, when he was Titty Boy, he was with G. You know what I mean? I, I fucked with, with him. I fucked. I fucked with him when he was titty boy. Yeah. But I seen the difference when he turned into two chain. Yeah. For like sure. I seen he went from two. Well, he was titty boy. It was like like duffel bag boys. Yeah. Duffel bag boys. Everybody know the one part in this goddamn song. Where everybody, I've been dressing thousand dollars, and we yeah. looked at it like I mean this shit was all right. We hear you, nigga. That's <laughs> like a typical down south nigga like yeah, line yeah. or whatever. We got you. But then after that, you don't start hearing none of that no more. No. Nah, like, he switched because nah, yeah. he knew, like, and that's what he just said in the interviews. He was like, don't put me in the box with them niggas. Like, yeah. he was like, you know who my, my nigga is. My nigga yeah. is Wayne. Yeah. Like, I have to go against him on track. Yeah. Like, I got to do that shit, so. No, oh, and then it's like, I, I feel like fucking two chains up was the worst thing Ludacris could have did oh, as, a, as an A&R. Yeah. Yeah, but it was best. It was it was better for his career though. Oh no, it, I'm, I'm yeah, sure yeah, two yeah, chains yeah, yeah. is not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he ain't complaining at all. Sure now. He not, like he ain't he, complaining at all. He got a fucking um a residence in Vegas. Like he ain't them niggas. <laughs> that nigga shit. got a show. That nigga got, he got a most oh, yeah, expensive he, shit ever. Yeah, the show. What's that show? And, on and, Vice, right? I think they got picked up. They got picked up on an actual channel. Yeah, I think it's like on Vice or Viceland. One of them. 
I know they're the same, but I know that's one of them is the shit that own it, and the other one is the show that's out there. I think like Vice Land is the channel. Yeah, your Vice Vice been getting off a lot lately too, but they telling on a lot of niggas too. Yeah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> niggas they telling on themselves. Yeah, they go up there like, yeah. Uh-uh. So this is how you break down yeah. the key. <laughs> look, man, you man, chop man. it up. Hey, look, it's smoke and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the people I be serving. He a regular, like nigga. God damn. Yeah, so I'm gonna take you down on Slauson. Yeah, and we actually deliver the key at. Yeah, like, hey, <laughs> like, yeah, niggas just be. Got them doing the most, <laughs> it put it, but that's that's that social media era. Yeah. Man. So, I mean, that shit is that shit is getting bad. So with these Grammys, let's yeah. go to these Grammy Grammys. Awards is tonight. Yes. By the time this air, yeah. that shit would have aired. So I'm telling, I'm telling y'all Nipsey. right here now. I'm telling y'all, if Nipsey don't win Rap Album of the Year, I'm setting some shit the fuck on fire. Man. Like I don't understand. I mean, true. Let me let me put this out there. For all those fans of other people that are in that category, to the Barty gang, all y'all, yeah. she is much deserving of it. Don't get me wrong, she's had an amazing run. She had an amazing run. The album is dope. The album is good. Yeah, the album is dope. It's good for what it was. Pusha T, that's the home team. Yeah. That album, it was dope, but it was seven something tracks. Like, come on yeah. now. We she was technically an EP. Yeah, we need more than that. We need more than that. R.I.P. Mac Miller. You always doing your thing on your albums. Yeah, like, and all you do, always doing your thing. And that Astro World was fire, but it was a little too. Yeah. Big. What's it your was, What's your actual like? I want Nip to win. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's. I got nothing I got, above I that. But who win. do you think is actually gonna win? I, I'm 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 torn because who had the better year all around is Cardi. Yeah. Cardi had the better year all around, but, but this is like, about the rap album. I, yo, I don't know why, because it's the Grammys we talking about. Yeah. So I feel like I don't want to call it a snub, but it'll be a snub. I feel like because Mac, they made a big thing about Mac Miller. Ma- his yeah. mom is gonna yeah. be in the crowd, and like I gotta, f- I just gotta feel. It. I feel like the Grammys is gonna Grammy this shit, mm-hmm. like they. They gon' Grammy it like they Grammy at every Grammys. That nigga slapping, that nigga nip slapping niggas. When he slapped the nigga at the BET Awards, I was like, they not gonna get this nigga nothing. They not gonna get. I knew I, at that point, I was like, they not gonna give him nothing. But I then tell he you went what, on that though, campaign. If if nip don't win this shit, they gonna create a a, 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 a whole a whole different type of motherfucking animal. I'm talking yeah. about it in nip. Oh yeah, they nip gonna create nip. a whole different type yeah. of animal in that nigga. He but yeah, nah. If, if he, that yeah. second album gonna be nuts too. That that goddamn that second joint. Yeah, be cause crazy. he said how he came up with Victory Lap was he said he listened back to his all his old shit, mm-hmm. and he said he got down. He he was checking a lot of playlists that people like put his songs in, mm-hmm. and he was seeing the patterns of the songs that everybody Dope. throughout his career was fucking mm-hmm. with, mm-hmm. and he was like, okay. So this is this is the consistent pattern I'm seeing. Boom! It's, it's, it's and then he tactical. dropped the victory lap. It's tactical. Like I knew, for one, when Crenshaw came out, it was on some shit where that's when I really started yeah. fucking with it. Slauson Boy was dope, but uh, Crenshaw when Crenshaw first came on and I heard that Jay Z sample, and I heard the joint he had with Ross, I was like, oh, this nigga holding his own. I was like, he 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 holding his own. He gonna be alright. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my shit. The uh, weather, what's this called? Yeah. Weather something. When what? it rains, it starts pouring. Man, yeah, yeah, man, that's, that's my shit. That's and my it, shit. Uh, and then uh, mailbox money. Yeah, mailbox. And money. then I had to. I, I look, and when I say I fuck with Nip, I did the proud to pay. Yeah, I did the proud to pay, and that's <laughs> how much I fuck with him. Yeah, and I did the proud to pay, and I got the extra tracks. A lot of people don't know he got a track with Rich Homie mm-hmm. and fucking Young Thug. With niggas just talking straight banging shit that wasn't on the regular shit, <laughs> man, that shit is so fucking fire. And I was like, oh, these I niggas is going in. That. Look, look it up. It's called. Uh, <laughs> now I'm fire. I got it. Oh, you got it. I was about to say. Look, I was I about to say that. that shit is fucking fire. And then fucking uh, Slauson Boy too. Yeah. And then that that shit that Ocean Views like you yeah, you hit this nigga you hear his bars you hear the shit that nigga talking about that, that might like, be one of my favorite nip songs yo the Ocean Views yeah that's that even the be. joint he got with Bino he put mad niggas and that's why that status symbol that status symbol two shit was fire but 
like I said, got what I was. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Cardi shit was fucking. And when I heard Bicken Head, I said, "Oh, this <laughs> bitch about to snap." I said, "She about to snap, man!" All yeah. every track. I was a nigga that listened to the entire album. Yeah, like, no, I, I, I I do that multiple because, times. Like I listen, I listen the whole. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. because like I'm a fan of music, so yeah. I remember at one point it was like, oh, I ain't listen to no fucking one girl. Right? Like we niggas is younger and shit. Like they yeah, make yeah. it seem like it's some other shit, but like my nigga, I'm. I want to hear what the fuck this this artist got to say. Yeah, and she and she I mean? definitely she That's showed it. out. She she definitely showed out. So I'm excited to see what happened. Um, we gonna see goddamn how it play out. And like I said, facts that nigga nip need you right now because that's that's uh that's a big move right there. If you nigga <laughs> crip niggas winning Grammys, that's big, nigga. <laughs> that's big. Yeah, that's real that's big. Real big. So uh, yeah, man. So what, what what we got next, man? It's a yeah, lot. It's, uh, it's 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 a lot, but it's. It's so much. Nah, ain't really on, much man. happened like through through this week. Um, but we definitely got shit to talk about. Shit, we are because Valentine's Day is coming up. Yeah, we gonna that's we gonna say that for the for the general topic. Uh, oh, let's oh, let's oh, get the news oh, shit out oh, the way. Oh, let's oh, get the look, news look, shit out the way. Look, look, because I about to let's, say let's I got transition on the sports. No, let, <laughs> let's, let's transition the on the sports. OKC man, I mean, Tom Brady. Yeah, look, Tom Brady did his thing. Touchdown, Tom. As usual. Touchdown, Tom. I tried to tell y'all niggas, man, leave that nigga the fuck alone. I leave him the fuck alone. I'm just, I need. I'm glad he got this one. Fuck it. It looked like he ain't going nowhere. So, nigga, just get one more and get yeah. the fuck out. Touchdown, Tom, leave. Dog. You got it. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Break Drew, history. Get the seven. Yo, get the Drew fuck out Reeves of the way. is somewhere sick right now. That nigga is hot. Like, nigga, y'all, y'all did all that to not took, even <laughs> score? Y'all took, the like, pussy. y'all took the pussy from us, nigga. <laughs> y'all took the pussy from us. <laughs> and they cheated them so bad. Yeah. They cheated them so bad. Yo, that, yeah. I seen the clip. Because I ain't. I'm, I'm, like I said, I've been cheating, cause I ain't been watching, but mm-hmm. I've been on ESPN, checking the scores, watching the clips, like, you know what I'm saying? But, it's uh, bad, it's bad. Ain't, I, yeah, ain't I shit seen, change. I seen the clip, cause I mean, I can't watch, I can't watch motherfucking Shannon and Skip, and they just, yeah. I'm gonna turn the channel every time they bring the NFL up, like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't that deep with it. Look, look, look I understand, if you don't want to watch football... <laughs> Don't for whatever reason you don't want to watch football, whether it's the protest, you don't like them cheating, dude. But I'm telling you, I'm watching that shit. Yeah, you a child. Hey, look, I'm, I'm, I got to whatever we, the case. We ain't gotta. Don't do it like that, nigga. <laughs> we we got messed up. That nigga Tom ain't shit, but he the greatest. So <laughs> niggas gotta let that shit happen. God damn, my nigga fuck. <laughs> he fucked my nigga Phil Rivers up, but it's all oh, good. Trade the thought go. Cause we 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 came back. We did. We we had a real good season. Yeah, niggas moved to LA and niggas start acting on some LA shit. Niggas got them the defense. Mel, that Melvin Ingram and Joy Bosa shit is real. Don't nobody want to see that. <laughs> them niggas is fucking niggas up straight up, except for Tom Brady, because you can't touch them. <laughs> yeah, you really can't. Like, yeah. you can't touch them. So, I mean, it is what it is. But what what's going on with these Niners, man? What we gonna? Uh, so, uh, how you feel about... <laughs> no, we're not just going to skip past so them. how you feel about... Like, uh, it, it, won't, it won't a lot going on with y'all. Like, so, how when, you feel about the LeBron's going to trade you? <laughs> like, how you... Since you bring... How you feel... How you, how you feel about the Pacers giving LeBron the, the worst loss of his, his fucking life? Le- Shout out to the Pacers. LeBron scored, what, he, he moved up to 30,000? What, it was 30,000 30, that game or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but he, he lost the that, worst game in his career. That nigga ain't care. That nigga ain't care. He broke He broke top five. He broke top five. That nigga I mean, when, when, when you're losing to one of the best teams in the motherfucking league, it's cool. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's where the Pacers are. Listen, uh, okay. <laughs> that's, okay. what, that's what we are. You know what I'm I mean, I understand. I understand how you feel, and I understand the way you feel, the way you feel. But what we're not gonna do is lie to these people like this on this. Podcast. Hey, we getting busy. Oh don't yeah, twist y'all. Don't twist it. We getting you, busy. You right know here. who is getting busy? That I never thought is the Nets. Yeah. These niggas is balling, and I'm like, what? Where they did this shit busy come from? Quietly, though, yeah, like, I'm like, where the fuck did this shit come from? <laughs> niggas going to win like, street and niggas... don't get no media coverage behind you know, it. Because <laughs> like... they star player is a fucking tattletale. He be telling on niggas. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, but 
that's neither here or there. That's for another topic. But, yeah, you do. Uh, it's a it's a lot of teams. Uh, what you think about the AD shit? Like, yeah, that's that's the whole LeBron's gonna trade you shit. That's why I brought that up. Like, man. I was gonna ask. Like, I don't man. No, if I was Ingram and them, I would feel extra disrespected. Did you hear what they was cheering? In yeah, the Le- LeBron's gonna, gonna trade, trade you. you. <laughs> yeah. Why you shooting free throws, nigga? God damn. I probably would have been like. I would have did some round our test shit. I would have did some round our test shit. Just threw the ball, and whoever that shit hit, it hit. That but was yeah, I mean, that was big for y'all though. Round our test shit. That was that was NBA history. You get busy. Yeah, that was that was that was that yeah. was the the brawl the what the, the brawl in the palace was <laughs> malice in the palace. And the malice in the palace. That we was get real. And, yo, and that town is really like that. I think I got that video <laughs> saved. I got that video saved. Yeah, no, anytime I'm in a bad mood, that's what I, I watch that shit. I wanted, I wanted to always in my life, you know, niggas back in the day when we, we group <laughs> fighting, when yeah. niggas is group fighting, it's like five on five, <laughs> ten on ten, niggas is all trying to hit somebody. I was like, I just pray one day in my life I can snuff a nigga like that nigga Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah, no, he slid and that, hit that, that nigga. one hit. That I said, Jesus Christ! Well, I, I ain't never seen a fat nigga fall that hard that on his on, <laughs> by somebody else. I done seen niggas' ankles <laughs> give out, but that nigga punched him so hard, his whole body hit the goddamn deck. I said, shit, and he looked like his arms fell back, like he caught the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I said, you know what? That was that was. I think that's that's one of the biggest uh, times for y'all. Let me stop. I'm an OKC fan. I got a lot of hate in my heart. We ain't go, we not gonna act like motherfucking Reggie Miller ain't ain't used to get I mean, busy. That's just Reggie though. That's a Reggie was Reggie. Reggie beat up Kobe though too. So and you beat but, up Jordan. No, nah, we can't. I can't like, even do that. Kobe the best, but he got beat up by a lot of niggas. But Reggie beat him and he beat up Jordan. Niggas forget yeah, that he beat yeah, Jordan he did, too. Yeah, <laughs> niggas forget about that. He did I, forget. I, about I that. think. It's only a couple of niggas that fought more than Reggie Miller and yeah, Anthony Rashid, Mason was Rashid, one. Rasheed Wallace. Rasheed Wallace was one. <laughs> Charles Barkley was one. Yeah. Like, they had a run on test. <laughs> no, I remember um, they used to say Anthony Mason used to have to have security come in with him. Not for himself. For everybody else. But to just make sure that this nigga hey, look, don't get into it with nobody. Look, shout out to Gilbert Arenas. <laughs> in DC, like, that nigga pulling pistol, out pistols. Like, that yeah. nigga pulling out pistols. Fuck that's, security. That's, security right here. Look, niggas ain't worried about a lot of shit. And the way he be fucking with Nick Young, like nigga, how you jump over a nigga gate and and joke his son on camera? Yeah, like yeah. If I'm swag, yeah, swag. I don't think he wanted that issue though. No, he don't. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think that's the issue that he wanted. Mm-hmm. Like not at all. But he's talking about, he said, damn, nigga, you cheat on your old lady. I'm like, nigga, we on camera. Yeah. Like, nigga, what the fuck is you, like, what's wrong with you? I would have hit him with the, with the swag. I like, can't even mimic that face. <laughs> that shit was just so natural. It was so bad when I seen it, because I, I use that face on a lot of people. Yeah. I use that face on a lot of people, but he who got you think, down. What you think about this All-Star game? To be honest, I ain't really, um, I ain't really see a lot about it. I usually I mean, just kind of like the week of, like before the weekend. Just see who. I, that's when I kind of lock into it. I ain't really follow it. Mm-hmm. I seen homie from uh, what the Timberwolves. What's the young boy name? He he made the starting who, starting uh, for the East. Or is it Memphis? Name slipping my mind, man. Oh. Um, man, fuck it. I hit uh, come only, back. Only only young nigga I know right now is Luca. <laughs> Yeah. That nigga snapping. Well, he not young, young, but he he yeah, he, a rookie. he younger than yeah, he ain't yeah. young, young. Who I'm thinking about? No, uh, not, I mean, in NBA years, with the, for him to be doing the shit he doing, that yeah. shit is ridiculous. And it's funny because Porzingis, being that niggas is on the same team now, which is a crazy trade. Yeah, which is a crazy trade because they they thought they was they, <laughs> they, got, they, got, they got two they of the best white boys in yeah. the league. Yeah. <laughs> they got two of them. They thought they was gonna get some 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 dope shit, but mm-hmm. they don't know that all they about to get is mellow back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mellow, mellow out here looking like cheap pussy. Mellow out here just trying to get. I think he gonna go to LA. I think he gonna go to LA. I think Bron go get him. Bron wanna when is get him. The, uh, when is the free agent deadline? Do NBA have a free agent deadline? Yeah, they got it. It's coming up. I think though, it's coming. Up I know somewhere. the trade deadline ended yeah. last week. Oh, you talking about the free agent? The though. free agency shit. Uh. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I'm not, know. I don't know if they got one. Well, that ain't never nothing that I ever looked into for real. 
Yeah, I mean me, I just like honestly, one, I'm OKC. Yeah, I've been OKC. Niggas gave me a reprieve. They told me I could switch teams after KD left. I ain't going nowhere. Nigga, we lost Paul George, and I, yeah. I had to stay. Yeah, look, I, yeah, to I, say, I told niggas, I said, I can't go nowhere. I can't. Russ, Russ, you an ugly nigga. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. When, you when, we first, when we first uh, lost Paul George and got over the depot, I was mad as shit. Because I didn't follow him yeah, when he was, yeah. when, you know what I'm saying, when he was, mm-hmm. which I didn't follow him like yeah. that. So I was like, man, we getting a nigga off the bench, and... Our bench always been fine. We had James Harden on the bench. Yeah. We had but James but, Harden. Well, I mean, I see now, I can't say, oh, the Depot won't ain't James Harden. But in my mind, like, I didn't know who the fuck is this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it was more so that. And then he played. <laughs> and he <laughs> got busy. Got off. And I'm like, this, <laughs> nigga got off. this nigga might just work. We had, we had so much talent. The young boy Ferguson that got the bunnies. Yeah. That nigga, we had, we've always had so much talent, but we've had different niggas. That like, when we had James Harden and Westbrook and yeah. goddamn KD, that shit was so ill because it was like if we decided, if we really decided to run that one two three with them niggas, it's over. Yeah, it's over. The thing was, they set the nigga on the back burner. And I'm like, James Harden need to be out there. Like, he need to be out there, goddamn, making plays. He need to be out there. Because West, but that was back when West didn't want to pass. He didn't want to fucking pass for shit. Yeah. He didn't even want to pass to Kevin Durant. <laughs> but that got <laughs> changed up real quick when Durant started dropping threes from half court. And it was like, nigga, <laughs> you're not like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do it. So... When Harden told them niggas like I ain't taking no pay cut, I was like, all right, here we go with this shit. We made it to the, we made it to the shit. Yeah. We made it there. We had these niggas. Of course, we got to go against LeBron. I mean, but we right there. So we go talk about since you want to bring that up, we want to talk about how y'all did with the Falcons did. Hey, look, man. We want to talk. That nigga, talk that about nigga, how y'all was up three. Hey, look, see now you worried about the wrong shit. Hey, look, see, <laughs> see, see. you want to talk about how y'all I'm, was up I'm, three. I'm gonna tell got, you this. They got swept the rest I'm, of the I'm, way. I'm gonna tell you this. That boy Devin Mitchell. Mm-hmm. Now I'm glad niggas see now. Niggas won't paying attention to his ass for real, for real. Yeah. But I'm glad niggas see now. That motherfucker drives the cup like Iverson, and I ain't never seen that shit like that. I mean with. Well, he who he just bang on recently. He banged on somebody recently. I seen that shit. I seen the clip. I don't even remember. He banged on somebody, but I'm just glad. Well, I'm telling you who he ain't banging on. He ain't banging on Stephen Adams. Nah, nah, he ain't banging. My nigga is out I'm here. I'm glad. I'm head. glad Adams is finding his own again because he used but, to be soft as hell. But no, but this he used to be no. Dark. But the thing don't was, know me, bro. No, Adams used to be soft, dog. Man, niggas, it, maybe I'm biased because it's my team. But the nigga ain't never. When I seen that nigga smack Tim Duncan right before I mean, he retired, yeah, I, mean, I was like, okay, this nigga is he ain't with the shit. Yeah, there ain't too I'm many. talking about on the court because I'm. I mean, he I was see. damn near Dwight Howard soft, bro. He ain't never new Dwight Howard. No, no. New Dwight Howard. Not even. not Orlando Dwight Howard. He just he won't was... talented. He was he always had the heart, bro. He just won't at the talent level to where he is now where the nigga is throwing sky hooks and got yeah. that turnaround little shit. But he always had some fight about him. He, he his cousin, dog, Jason Momoa, then he, uh, he, he he gave him the the confidence he, he needed. Aquaman. He looked just <laughs> like the nigga. He, he gave him like the, the confidence nigga. he needed. He looked just like his ass, but I'm like, but no, I seen the video the other day I had in my Facebook memories and when that nigga got crossed. Yeah. And they had the Titanic music playing in the background. Oh, yeah. And I said, I I don't want to repost this shit, but this shit was bad. But he learned from that and he got back up. Now we fucking niggas up. And thank you for Paul George because now he fucking niggas up. And we got rid of Melo. But I mean, cause he was just fucking. Yeah, up. Yeah, he was just fucking up. So I mean, <laughs> now we gonna see. Up. We gonna see where this shit is gonna go in the West. Yeah, you, you follow know. UFC boxing? No, I I do follow box. I heard. Well, I didn't get to see it because I was at work last night. Davis not that boy. I, mean, I heard. Out. But that's that's little tank. That I, what I call, I call him little Tyson. I call yeah. him little Tyson because the see, way that he built. Look, I got into I got into a debate with a nigga last night. Like and uh, and before I say what I'm about to say, Tank is one of my favorite fighters. Yeah. He's one of my favorite. 
Tyson though, I'm not giving them that yet. No, I understand yeah, the comparisons because yeah, yeah. they got the so they both got the soft the, the boys, stat, the stature, like, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, but when he start knocking out some more credible names, you know the same say when he start fighting more nah, credible nah, names. When he start knocking see, out this the thing because I think he can. I want to see him do Spence. I want to see him get big and do Spence. That's what I want to see because that's gonna show to me same shit that happened with Deontay, which we. We all saw what happened with that. When, when you fight real. a nigga that got that box, that got hands, you got to be able to thing with goddamn Tyson was, he's not going to let you throw hands with He's going to fuck you up before you can throw hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's going to be over before you can he's even not, attempt to yeah, figure some no, shit out. Mike Tyson was a whole different but, fucking but, animal. And that's what the, the shit with Wilder. Wilder didn't have, he had a corner, but his corner won't never like, to me, in my eyes, his corner won a real corner. It was everything based off broad talent. Yeah. It was like, he knew. So even with, I mean, I definitely get the the whole boxing is pretty much styles. And it, it's really no technical way to box. Now, I mean, it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because you got, you, you, got the, you got the Philly shell. You got certain, like, it's different, like, stance and styles and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, he's just a, a wild nigga. But to build off what you're saying, yeah. Polish that shit. Yeah, polish it definitely needs. Now, if if Wilder had a defense, I don't think nobody could beat him. If he had a, yeah, if, if he, he had it, a, like I, a, I agree. a true I agree. defense, yeah, because he don't, he don't, he, he just, just he just take hits, uh, wait till yeah. he see if you could get tired, and then he feel like I'm about to hit you with a couple of these things, which in the fight happened. At the end, twice. At the end, <laughs> twice. But that's the only reason when people always ask me about that fight that just happened. I tell them like this. I said it was a tie. I said and the From only reason to me point, I said, exactly. I, it was I said tie. I said the boy, the boy whooped his ass. He did, but all all, all, all fight, every round. But <laughs> that nigga knocked his ass out. You know what I mean? He knocked his ass down twice, and nah, that second time, this, no, he, he wants knocked out the second time. Yeah, the I second time, the, the second he, time. That was pure heart, will, and determination. And on top of that, the referee counting slow. Yeah. Because hey, the let's... referee st- one, two, what'd you say? Three. You talking to me. You talking to me. Oh, shit. Hold on. I got to fight. Three. Hey, look. But the way he did it, and I said, you know what? I'm glad they did that the way they did it. Because what you would call it, learn the lesson. Wilder learned the lesson. Yeah. Because he won't expect the next. Wilder be walking into them fights like, I don't care who you are. Yeah. You can box as good as you want to. Yeah. If I hit you with a couple of these things yeah. at the right time, you're going down. Now he realized if a nigga can stand up with you, the one nigga that he knocked out, the first they went a whole... Ortiz. The, n- the big Cuban dude? No, no, no. The nigga with the dreads. Oh, oh, the yeah, only nigga know. he didn't knock out. And yeah. then the next match, he knocked his ass out. Yeah. But then he when he realized that shit, like niggas can go the whole way with you. They can go the yeah. whole way with you, and then you gotta adjust. But see him fighting Tyson Fury again. Now he knows, like nigga, you gotta know how to. I feel like that's fighting in general. Yeah. If you are gonna fight somebody twice, that second time you fight them, you know. Yeah. So if you really like that, for one, except for me, that Ronda Rousey got down Holly Holm shit. It won't know. It, bitch, you need to learn how to box. I ain't, like, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Ronda got her ass whooped. Let me let me yeah. not try to make no excuses for okay. her. She got her ass whooped. But Honda, Holmes got lucky. You like her titties. That's all that is. Holmes got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Holly Holmes got Holmes lucky. Holmes boxed her ass up. No, nah, she did. But you see what the fuck happened to her the very next fight. But see who was she fighting, though. Miss Tate. But look, and then, uh, no, well, who, excuse, who me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. beat the dog excuse, shit out of him like me. five times. After that. After that, she fought Nunez, right? She showed some heart. Yeah, no, look, no, 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 Nunez not the route. She showed heart. Cyborg, against, uh, cyborg, 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 showed, cyborg. Yeah. cyborg. When she fought cyborg, the one thing about cyborg who just got beat the fuck up, and like the but one thing about cyborg, it's Nunez though. But like, but see, this is what I I'm talking about. I already told depending niggas what on, was gonna happen in that fight. Yeah, depending on depending on the shorty and the person you that cyborg shit was on some shit like she trains. Yeah, like she trained, train, she yeah. trained different. Like Holly Holmes, she trained as on some. Okay, we gonna train and we gonna be good. Goddamn cyborg train on some Russian nigga type shit. Yeah. Like the way they sh- if I he saw dies, shit. he dies. Yeah. And so <laughs> when you going against somebody like that, it's different. Now the thing with Nunez is 
it's that straight I'ma fuck you up type vibe. Yeah. It's the I can box type vibe. And if it goes to us goddamn getting to the ground, I'ma choke you the fuck yeah. up. Like you can't Yeah, she just she well rounded. Like yeah. but no, that's what I told everybody who's like after I, after that Nunez Rousey fight, I already knew Nunez was the truth. But she, that's that's all she wanted. Yeah. She wanted Rousey more than she wanted the belt. But she wanted Rousey before Everybody Holly Holm. But she wanted her before Holm got it. She mm-hmm. wanted to be that one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but Holly Holmes told her. That, like, that no, was Rousey the crazy thing. Herself. She did that shit. I remember she, she did she that shit on Ellen. Head, and, and it's not going to happen. And Holly was the, like. You got me fucked up because you think I'm all about these hands. Bitch, I'm 6'11". I'm, I'm going to put this boot to you. I'm going to put this boot to your motherfucking face. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm 6'11". Bitch, I'm going to kick this shit out of you. She, she, she kicked, she kicked her, her like Kareem kicked Bruce Lee when oh, he was shit. in the chair. Oh, shit. And she, he looked, she was done when they showed her face when she got kicked. I said, oh, yeah. she's done. She's done. Leave this shit alone. Ain't was, no more yeah, of that was, big talking shit. She got humble. Same, same with being that we talking boxing and we talking fighting. Adrian Broner. <laughs> he let's, beat that boy. <laughs> he beat that boy. You better chill. He beat that boy. Oh hood. Oh, oh God and them. I, I beat that boy. Hey, look, that I control the fight. Like man, nigga with... niggas better stop fucking with Pac. Man, he drank Hennessy. Shout out to Hennessy. Hey, look, he drank Hennessy. No, <laughs> you talking about a nigga that can? I don't know if he still can because he didn't do it in that fight. But this is a nigga that throws like 200 punches around. 12 rounds straight. No fatigue. Ooh, bro. Like, nigga, what? Huh? This what? Nigga, this I, nigga what? here. What? After that Madonna shit, I knew. Like, watching that Madonna and Adrian yeah. Broner shit, he can't take when a nigga throwing a whole bunch of punches at him. He Madonna, can't. that's... I'm trying the, to. The I, wild I don't know nigga. Which one where he got not? He that was him. Got, that was okay, Madonna. Okay, okay. The I knew, wild nigga. I knew they fought, and and Madonna was the. He was Madonna. That's the one. The one nigga that still that Floyd quite. Yeah, yeah. Still but questionable, see, it was because it was because of the way Madonna fight. Madonna doesn't have a true style. This nigga is coming at you, yeah. and he's swinging. You can hit him all you want to, yeah. But he gonna eat them shit. But he gonna keep swinging. And when he fucked that man up, he fucked Brona up. And Brona told me, "I need to go to the hospital after the fight." I said that nigga can't take a whole bunch of punches. Like at one point where he could duck niggas and yeah. do that, it's because niggas was trying to box him. Now you're boxing with a nigga that's going to, like, I'm going to rush you. Pat, if Pat gets you a little bit, Pat got both. Yeah. Pat got both. He don't, he's not, he might not just rush you or he might fall back and yeah, got down, tap you up. I, I think Pat learned before, even before the Floyd fight, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I can go. That was Roach. But I need to know how to retreat too. Yeah, that was Roach. Roach yeah. put him on because Roach knows. Remember at one point when Pat was just, he was just boxing, pure mm-hmm. boxing. He just, that's when they start saying he was falling off mm-hmm. and his fights was boring and, and all he that started shit. knocking niggas the fuck he out. He had to come back mm-hmm. to knocking niggas out. So it was, it, when I seen the, the fight with him and Pac, and they was talking about it, Pac had won like what, two, three right before then? Yeah, he, like he, he uh, what's the white boy he fought in Australia? Um, They fought twice. I forgot his name, but I knew he was, I knew yeah, he, he was back on his shit. Cause he had that little situation where he got in trouble. Look, Hennessy had kicked that nigga off and some more shit. Yeah. And I was like, oh damn, he he got a little run now. And then he got back in the gym. He got back right. And then Adrian Brown. I'm like, you're you're chasing Floyd. You're never gonna be Floyd. Yeah. But that's um, why I say, man, if if I if I'm seeing Pac fight, I, I I need my nigga back on the PEDs. Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. I like PED Pacquiao. But no, Floyd knew that <laughs> shit. Floyd knew that Floyd said, no, yeah, you're taking the, you're taking the Olympic knew. test. You're, I mean, the Olympic test. You're taking the Olympic test, and I'm telling you, <laughs> if you pass it, then I'll fight you. Yeah, but if no, you don't, knew. and then that Come nigga on. said, nah, I ain't taking that shit. He said, I ain't taking that shit. I said, you know what's up. You know what's up, because Floyd, Floyd like this. I, this. I love Floyd to death. He the champ. You know yeah. I mean? It is what it is. If you hit Floyd hard enough, the one boy uh, Ortiz... When he caught him right, yeah. he had hours. I was no. never so scared for black people in my life in the past. <laughs> Goddamn. Five, I, ten years. I'll do you one better. I mean, because Floyd whooped his ass the whole rest of the fight. Mm-hmm. Shane Mosley, that second yeah, round. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The yeah, second yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was shaky for Floyd. Yeah. I thought Shane, like, in that round, Shane could have knocked Floyd the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Could have, should have, would have. 
but he didn't. But it and he didn't capitalize. After that round, that was it. Floyd wore his ass out the rest of the fight. That was it. Because, but that's what Floyd do. Floyd sit back and he learn. But that Ortiz fight. But he need to learn not to wear them fucking boots no more. Floyd, Floyd don't care, man. Listen, nah, I, this is nah, the one thing that. I learned. He had them fucking. We can, look, we can talk. Like, and, and this is what I learned. We can talk about the way these niggas dress and the shit they do all at the end if of the you, day. If you bring up money if you want to. Hey, look, look, bring I'm up not, money if you I'm want not, to, I'm man. I'm not bringing up money. <laughs> I'm saying this. If I see that nigga out and I start joking this nigga. Oh, he gonna knock the fuck out. He gonna knock the fuck out. And that nigga, and that nigga would be like, throw these hands. Then now I got a choice nigga, I gotta no. make. Now I got a choice I gotta make. Now I got. I'm like, nigga. I'm telling you one thing. I'm too skinny to be out here boxing with you, nigga. Nigga, you hitting yeah. it. I'm hitting you with this flame, nigga. And no, and now so you, you, you gonna be on the chance, news. Though. You gonna be on the news. I know I'm not I'm quick enough on the to fight Floyd. No, I mean, I ain't, I ain't, let, let when me I say quick, pill, it's, I'm, I'm gonna reach over, <laughs> I'm gonna hit this, flick this switch oh, on yeah, this no, motherfucker. Don't worry, but I got, some, I got some shit quicker than Floyd. <laughs> <That's what laughs> I'm not no. By the time I pull this trigger, you are gonna hit me yeah. at least three times, but one I, of your arms gonna be I falling down. I got dangling. some shit that's a little quicker than Floyd. You <laughs> can't throw a punch faster mm-hmm. than I can. Mm-hmm. But yeah. but them boots was, them boots were tragic. Them boots were tragic. <laughs> Somebody said he had the Red Dead Redemption 7s oh on. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Red Dead Redemption 7s. Oh, my God. Now, how the fuck you get your feet in boots like that? Because them shits was like like this fucking that long. Nigga, a tiny nigga. A nigga picked them up from <laughs> under his arms and dropped them into them shit slow. <laughs> like they was dipping that nigga in some ranches. <laughs> That's what happened when you got millions of dollars. Niggas will pick you up and yeah, they'll put you in your clothes. Hey, look. <laughs> three words that a grown man should never have to ever tell another grown man is put me down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, help me put get my shoes. Put me down. Help me get my shoes. Off. Nah, yo. <laughs> he probably walk that up nigga, to the That nigga probably, got five yeah. moves. <laughs> yeah, he probably walk up to the nigga like a uh you know when your kid wants you to pick him up and they oh, come up to you and they Hey, look, man. And they do hey, this. Bro. Hey, bro, and you get a free chance. You think you can't get down, Come up. sit a nigga down in these shoes real quick? Nah, he don't even talk. He just, yo, when you get a chance, can you? <laughs> he said, nigga, wave the fingers. Hey, come on, bro. You know what time it is. No, you got two little ones. <laughs> it was babies. Oh, look, Did they not do that? Look, when I tell you, I got so tired of picking their motherfucking <laughs> ass. So I'm like, look, ain't no picking up no more. Where the fuck do kids learn that at? Like, how the fuck? Because but kids that never been around each other, they know I'm going to go stick my fucking arms up and, and you gonna somebody pick me up. pick me because up. Because when they be in that crib and they be hollering and they be screaming, the one thing that they know is, put it this way, you yelling, you bucking at somebody and a nigga grab you by your collar and lift you in the air. Ain't gonna be no hollering and yelling no more. It's gonna be like, all right. So when they screaming and they crying and you gonna pick their ass, oh shit, you just yeah. lift my whole body up. And the shit. If you fighting a nigga and a nigga scoop your ass after you uh, in the air, it's a whole nother man time. I'm 240, my nigga. For a nigga, oh, nigga, nigga pick me up like that. Hey, look, <laughs> it's over after that. That nigga put you me coming up. to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, I'm getting, <laughs> a nigga scoop me. Hey, look, it's a mean headlock. No, I'd rather a nigga go. scoop me, bro, but uh, uh, for a nigga to just pick me up. Nah. Nah, B. Nah, you, you got me in the air That's like what you got to tell a nigga, like, yo, when you, when you put me down, this shit is over. I'm go- hey, look, I'm a skinny nigga. If I can't get you with enough of these hands to your face, I'm, I'm hitting them ankles, <laughs> and I'm lifting you up in the air. Once you get in the air, I'm dropping your motherfucking ass straight however you fall. This, this shit got to happen. Hey, look, for real. <laughs> For real, but that's that's past life. A nigga too old for that shit. Dude. Yeah, my bones old. I ain't nah. scrapping with a nigga no more. Mm-hmm. Fuck you say old nigga. Hey, look, young boy. <laughs> Keep your ass over there. <laughs> fucking whip I'm telling you. Fucking whip a snapper. I'm get the fuck you. out of here. I'm telling you. You you get too close. I'm telling you, you do not want this. Because I'm telling you. Oh, oh, you going to throw some hands? I ain't throwing hands. I'm throwing something else. <laughs> <laughs> and it might not be good for you. Hell yeah. So yeah, let's roll into the uh to the main topics for the week. Oh Lord, let's go. Here we go. So um let's go ahead and start. So Valentine's Day is what's today? It's four days away. Yeah. It's this upcoming Thursday. I got a lot of Valentine's I gotta give out, man. I got sorry to hear that. One thing is I love all I, I love, started all my arguments last week, so I'm good. Nah, I love all <laughs> my drinks. I love them too, but you know what I'm saying? I 
I'm trying to. And when I say that, don't don't please don't take offense. Y'all know who y'all are. <laughs> like I'm not saying it like that. All I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I started is, all my arguments last week, so I'm good. I'm I'm. Know what I mean. Oh, well, then you good. Like you gotta. <laughs> you gotta. I got to. I got to make drop offs. I nah, I ain't no. I ain't. I ain't. I just ain't got no Valentine this year. But the crazy thing is, I've never. I don't. I've never. I've never had a Valentine, but I've. I got Valentine's. I, I've, definitely, yeah, I've definitely had some Valentine situations. You know what I'm saying? I just ain't never. But had see, that's those. that's me. It's just like even the joke that if I'm having a bad day one day and she just be like, you know what? I got a plate for you. I got this for yeah. you. Me being a single man that I am, let's get this straight. Yeah, oh, I don't care if it's St. Patrick's Day. You offer me food, I'm yeah. coming to get that. I'm going to make sure you good. Like, especially if I know you single. If you got a man, then that's something different. Yeah. I'll, I'll shoot you a text. But I'll do it in the early morning so, you know, the rest of your evening is yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. So y'all can have an enjoyable evening, which I hope the best for. But uh, for me, man, I always like to show appreciation and love to the people that's there for me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I do for my Valentine's Day. Of course, my daughters, they get all the candy, all the other that. So that's, they, they a lot. They good. Yeah. I might do my baby mama something this year for sure. I appreciate it. You know, you gotta you gotta do That's some a, things like that. Niggas just be wanting to get back in them cheeks one 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 last time. I was about to say something, but I forgot <laughs> what we were going to add, so I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, tell I me mean, off, some, tell me on camera. Tell nah, me off yeah, camera. yeah. Just sometimes, camera. sometimes, man, I feel like this, man. If you care for that woman, man, and this go to all them niggas out there, y'all know who y'all are. If you care for that woman and you know you got love in your heart for that woman, whether y'all got a title or not, man, make yeah. sure that woman is appreciated. Cause these women go through a lot, man, dealing yeah. with us, man. Niggas is we got we got some shit with us. They got some shit with them too, but we got some shit with us, man. So I like to show them that I appreciate them. And I hope everybody has a wonderful Valentine's Day. I know I'ma have a good Valentine's Day. I hope y'all get some cutty too. Get and don't and ladies, ladies, do not give them the, the regular cutty. Give them something special. Yeah, don't give them the same shit you gave them on Christmas. Chicken Alfredo <laughs> and got the um, couple back shots and maybe spin around twice. <laughs> and if you gonna ride on that thing, make sure you get on your feet. Don't don't <laughs> don't don't give them the lazy joke. It's Valentine's Day. Pop pop show out show out just one time. It might take you about five ten minutes, but at least give them something. Show show them you care. Man, these joints so out of shape now. They knees gonna be <laughs> cracking and popping and shit. Like this shit. They gonna... You ever hit the joints? She told you just, just go. I'm gonna just roll over. Just go ahead and slide it in. Like, come on. Like, sometimes I need a little yeah, excitement. Like... Jump off the dresser or something. Shit. Like, goddamn, run full speed in the three point stance into the room. Just bust through the door like you the police. Like, jump on the nigga. Like, let's get the shit going. Like, god damn. Man, that's all. That's all a nigga wants sometimes, man. Nigga don't need too much, man. We simple. Yeah, I mean Valentine's Day is just a, it's a flex holiday anyway. Yeah, that's, that's all what it is. It's a buy shit. This yeah. shit ain't really like oh I care for you. It's if you don't buy me nothing, you don't care for me. It's it's more of that than it's a flex holiday. Yeah, it is. It is. It's one of those. It's definitely. It's definitely one of those. But for me, I look at it like I tell you. It's like they they look forward to this shit. Yeah. They really look forward to this shit. Me and at the end of the day, shit. On Father's Day, we don't even I was, get shit. I was about <laughs> to say, we don't have no yeah, holidays. No, we don't even get shit no, for real. Christmas, better get her something. Yep. She gonna get you some some boxes in the top. She gonna, uh, no, no, Christmas, Christmas, they gonna give you that one thing that you've been waiting for all yeah, year. The, the one little thing, you know the what I'm saying? The one little it. thing. Or 2K. If you ain't yeah. get it yet, yeah. this is a, it's, a, it's one of the two. Well, half the time, nigga, go just buy this yeah, shit. You, she ain't gonna get I'm not, shit. I'm not waiting, but you know how, <laughs> you know how far <laughs> behind <laughs> niggas I'm gonna be. Niggas got the new rosters and everything. I'm going in the All Star Week with some bullshit. Like I can't go in the neighborhood. There's no fucking seventy four. Like niggas ain't even gonna play. Nah, I need this shit on opening weekend. <laughs> oh man, on week. What's the hold up? What's the dopest thing you done did for a shorty on Valentine's Day? I gotta tell you off camera. Nigga, that ain't some booty. Nigga, that is so much. I gotta tell you off camera. But I get that. I'm trying to think of what I did spirit of noise. Now, it's only because it's like, this this, this is some shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, so it's, it's like, a, yo, you could. 
Oh, she gonna know. But what? Well, I mean, I guess I, I, I guess I can't do it again. You know what? You just put me in the fuck. Hey, hey, look, hey, look, man. Cause look, a- cause now <laughs> if I do it, they gonna be like, oh, so, so is this the shit you did that you ain't want to talk about on camera? Cause hey, you, look, man, <laughs> you ain't want to talk about on camera because you was gonna do this shit for me. You right. You right. I mean, well, it's I mean, over with now. So I mean, whatever I do for you, it ain't. It won't that. Yeah. Look, I, sometimes <laughs> whatever gotta, it is, it won't that. I done doubled up on the same Valentine's gift sometimes, but I think the one thing that I did on Valentine's Day was I took a joint on the Spirit of Norfolk on Valentine's Day. That's dope. And it was funny because it was cold as a bitch. So y'all but, couldn't even enjoy but the, the, look, the flight. Look, Valentine's Day. The Valentine's Day on top of that was cold as a bitch. It was a reunion for some old heads. Yeah. I was just trying to do something nice. I was young, nigga. I ain't know for real shit. We got up there. And I ended up smashing on the boat, too. It was a wonderful Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. I think the, I mean, I think the, 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 the coolest experience I had, it was it was probably the most simple one I ever had, dog. We had the little hotel. Um, We went to the little hibachi grill. I almost fucked the night up, though. Cause I'm I'm not letting this nigga throw no shrimp in my mouth, bro. No, hey, look, nah, you can't do that. And if you, but, if, that, but if everybody you, at the little the little shit was like, come on, like yo, get the fuck, yo. Nigga, I'm I like this whole I like this whole fucking <laughs> restaurant up. Y'all better, <laughs> y'all better leave me the fuck nigga, alone you in throw here. Throw that shit in I the like, air. I'm smacking that I'm bitch a, across yo, the room. I told him, I was like, yo, you thought I'm gonna catch it? I'm not catching that shit. <laughs> Bro, you're not throwing no fucking shrimp in my mouth, bro. That's not happening. Look, look niggas, niggas is out here on they salt bay out here. Yeah, Some bro, of these the niggas out here. Like, is... <laughs> come on, bro. Nah, that's no, why. No, sir. I, I don't even feel comfortable doing hibachi and shit like that. Yeah, because dog, number one, bro, just set my shit on fire and now I'm <laughs> yeah. here, bro. Yeah, give me give me a couple of little good Snapchat videos or Instagram, like, oh, yeah. some shit that I can IG just gotta to, have those. just to get the fire up. Let me know what you about to do to f- throw the oil up there. You. Turn all the onion rings the into volcano, a little volcano. Now yeah. you know I said, boom. Yeah. Don't throw no, throw that, throw that shrimp on my plate. <laughs> throw, the extra, throw me the extra shrimp on my plate, my nigga. Like, hey, no, and then it was, it was one motherfucker. Like, they wasted like six shrimp on this nigga. He kept missing the shit, the shit bouncing, hitting the floor and shit. I'm like, bro. Nah, that nigga had some other shit going on. That nigga, <laughs> they let his old lady was like, nigga, I might have to leave you, nigga. <laughs> You like catching shit in your face. No, he kept trying though. He's like, you know what I'm saying, mm. boom, shit kept kept bouncing and shit. And I'm more mad, like, yo, my nigga, we starving. Like, you really holding up and time. And you wasting like, all the shrimp. But he nigga got to hey, more shrimp. One more. <laughs> like, yo, this nigga better have four shrimp on his fucking plate <laughs> when you pass, cause you know they pass the shit out. You know what I'm saying? Like, he better only have four. Do, they they be like, you know what? I'm like, nah. Well, who had steak? Who had it? No, nah, I want my own shit. And chop yeah. my shit up. Don't leave my pieces for nobody yeah, else. Don't nah. fucking, yeah. I'm paying for my shit. All that shit. Got me fucked up out here. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we went to the little hibachi joint. Then um, had the little teller on the ocean front. It was dope, though, because it snowed. It was a little snow oh, out there. And then we had the ocean front room. And I got them, smoke them boots. Hey, look, nigga, gotta smoke the boot. Hey, look, nigga, I'm telling y'all a little friendly advice. On Valentine's Day, don't be don't be scared. You gotta goddamn drink that yak. You gotta go rub one out beforehand. You gotta pop that pill. Do what you do. And I'm telling you, don't let her ass down on Valentine's Day. So nigga. what you telling them is to eat the booty? Nah, on I don't Valentine's I don't condone in the eating of the asshole. I don't even like eating chitlins. See, you know what? Cause I I ain't the only nigga. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, it's a lot of niggas. I mean, no, cause we know we know them. We know them. And so, I mean, I, went, I, I mean, I understand you do your thing. That's what you do, then that's what you do. It's, oh. I have a phobia. <laughs> I have a phobia of putting anything <laughs> that has to do with an ass or anything like that around my motherfucking mouth. I just don't know. That's that's what I, what I, I, I bite the cheek. I, I can't even. I fuck it like the, the side of it. I, bite I mean, the I understand. Yeah, but yeah, when yeah. you get in the zone and, and this shit. Yeah, that's how I say I bite the cheek. You but, know what I'm saying? But it, to me, it's just, just that. Got, uh, uh, I know it's down there. Yeah. I know it's down there. And I'm telling you. <laughs> this nigga I'm, turning into Denzel. I'm, I'm, I, I know it's down there. I know, I know it's that. It's there. It's down there. And I, I don't know. It's down Look, there. I, my ass <laughs> farts sometimes and I don't even be expecting this shit. <laughs> when your body ready to let that shit go. And I'm telling you, if a jump was to ever fart in my face. That's got to be the most disrespectful shit. You can't argue with her. Like what the nigga Kevin Hart say, you got to eat ass face. Yeah. You, there's nothing you can do. Look, that could be your wife. 
That can be your girlfriend. That can be your baby mama. It can be whoever you want to be. She's like, nigga, shut up. I fought it in your motherfucking face. What you going to say? In your mouth. Hey, 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 what you, you, you going to say, yeah. man? You was down there eating that ass, and I just... Yeah. And I just let this shit go. Yeah. Now, now you got to be like, yeah, you did that shit. Like, no. Uh-uh. It's not for me. Any ladies that like they butt lit, uh, um, that's good. I mean, you do you do what you do. Find whatever works for you, beloved. I ain't going to say who do or don't. I'm going to just say listen to some older episodes. Mainly the, the very last. <laughs> the one before this one. Oh, these niggas. These <laughs> niggas out here eating ass like like, t- like Uptown Buffet. <laughs> hey, little niggas is out here doing Rest, rest in peace, Uptown Buffet. <laughs> hey, <look. laughs> R.I.P. 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 Uptown Buffet. But yeah, I mean, like, you know, the, the niggas, in the, the episode before this one, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. It's a lot of it's a lot of booty eaters out here. That's just not me. But that, now. But I'm telling you, if you want to ride this face, hey, look. <laughs> oh, I'm with it. Hey, look, I'm all I'm, for I'm that. With it. And I want you to and I want you to the to jump off the corner of the bed and land on my face like it's got <laughs> like WWE a, a parachute drop. Like you like you waiting to get there and see where you land <laughs> that down on that I mean, motherfucker. Yeah, Better moonsault on my shit. Hey, look, I'm I'm a nasty nigga. When, that, yeah. when shit start getting to that point where I feel comfortable with you, we on all types of fucking yeah. shit. I'm trying to fuck you at your mama house. I'm trying to fuck you in the driveway at the Kroger. I'm trying to I, look. I'm trying to that's, do all of that shit. I like that shit. Like that's the gotta, that's the type of the joint that spontaneous shit. I, I like need that. that. I need. I, like I need, that. I need I like that, that in my life. Cause sometimes a nigga be mad tired. Yeah. But then sometimes a nigga just be driving and be like. That pussy is on fire. Like I'm about to pull over. Like, get oh, this. you just fucking around. Nigga. Like y'all just, you just, won't even flirting or nothing the whole day. Y'all just left your your aunt house or something. You just look over. Like goddamn, them thighs looking like. <laughs> Give me some head in broad daylight. That's I need that type like, of excitement in my life. Just, just on, just on the middle of the road. Like, we on sixty four. Oh, look, come here. Hey, hey look, come here look, real quick. Look, I eat your pussy while you driving. Man. We go die today. <laughs> hey, look. We go, like, look, let's let me see. I need Tell you. Me. Look, my life is in your hands. Like, hey, look, you know you in there when she start like stringing stop along. Well, you better stop. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm-hmm. Yeah, you in there. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your ass up. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Next subject though, as far as oh, Valentine's, yeah. I mean it kind of tie in a little bit, but because we talk about how Valentine's is mainly for the is is more so for the women. Yeah. Yeah. But who is the bigger flexor on social media? Oh. Is it men or is it women? Oh. Like, who flexes? Like, because so, social media flexing is at an all-time high. I say but it, it. Look, let me, let me go rephrase ahead, go that. Ahead, go ahead. False flexing. I feel like it's... Flexing or false flexing? You don't matter. Women, women flex more, and the reason I say that the women flex more is because, for one... On some real shit. Black, now I'm gonna say this first before I say anything. Black men don't cheat. Nah, so all the people ever. that I'm talking about yeah. is either Mexican, white, yeah. or they Chinese. That's, that's, black that's men don't cheat. Fact. So a lot of these other people, yeah, they uh, they don't want to put their business out there like that. Yeah. So they they keep shit hush. So they keep a lot of shit hush. Now the shorties, who been cheating and been doing everything that they've been doing. Yeah. They flex to show the little side niggas like know oh, your yeah. role type shit. Know your role yeah. type shit. But see, this is where I feel like a lot of women at the end of the day, these new niggas, these new side niggas and a lot of these niggas, yeah. you can try your hand this Valentine's Day. Niggas not had enough. They fed up with y'all shit and you might lose the love of your life. Yeah. And cause these side niggas out here, I seen that shit on what is the, the court shit, the uh, what was it, couples court or some shit like uh-huh. that, where they showed the shorty face when she was looking, it was like, did you have sex with him? And she was like looking down. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga was like, oh no, nah, I've he been hitting like, that, yeah. bro. He said, shit, I hit it. What he say? I, I hit, hit it today. Today before I, we I, came here. And then <laughs> she was just sitting there like, uh, niggas ain't caring no more because like nigga, what you, the fuck? And and this is what I'm saying. But when it comes to the flexing. They want you to see. Oh no, I still got mine. Oh well, yeah. But hey, look, that's all. That's one, all you. One thing about it. <laughs> hey, look, that's all you. I ain't gonna beg you. <laughs> hey, look, do your thing. Do I ain't your gonna thing. beg you to drink it, goddamn. The one, the one thing about it. This yak almost gone too. But the one that thing yak, about that it. That yak. Both. <laughs> both. I ain't never seen a nigga do that hey, before. Both. We gonna cheers both on. I ain't never seen a nigga do that before. But go ahead. But. 
The one thing about that flexing though, they know who they hurting. They know who they hurting when they do it. Cause when they do it, they do it with big shit. Like, look at this nigga and goddamn pulled a car into the hotel yeah. room, and then he got the jacuzzi filled with crystal yeah. and goddamn all this. But so no, it's like, damn. Women, women so strategic. Like, they'll post some shit like, <gasps> damn, excuse me. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, look, do it to you every look, time. Every time. <laughs> but nah, they like women post some shit like some simple shit like I need some dick. That that shit is really a, a subtweet to one particular nigga. Yeah. But it's also to show that nigga, watch these comments. And she about to have a hundred motherfucking corny ass niggas. I see they like they they yeah, like that. That's I they love they it. Love like it. it. No, they love that shit. Like that shit. But that's that's how they do like it's 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 like a give and take with it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they do that to show them like, yeah, nigga, you ain't the only one. I love them. I love the statuses yeah. and the pictures. Yeah, I love them. I love and then, and then, as soon as I, as soon as I love them, the first thing I get is that that DM <laughs> like you a funny nigga. I'm like nah, you a funny bitch because you won't saying that I love you shit yeah. when, when them legs was up in the air. And like the funniest. <laughs> See, but me being the type of nigga that I am, yeah. we gonna keep that between us. Facts. We gonna keep that between us Cause I want you to live your best life I want you to enjoy that nigga That you really wanna be with yeah. And that you feel like Is your true soulmate I understand sometimes Your flesh has times of weakness Where you just need to be held Like I get that That's why I'm here to comfort you In those times Did this nigga just start preaching? Did but I'm just saying I just want everybody to have a good Valentine's Day <laughs> I just, want, I just want everybody to have a good Valentine's Day And just know I appreciate all y'all all y'all out there, that's all crazy. my niggas, listen, all my niggas that's in relationships and that's married, I'm telling y'all, all y'all wives, look, if they listening right now, they are going to have the best Valentine's Day yeah. ever. My niggas got shit planned for y'all that's about to blow they fucking mind. I'm yeah. so proud of my niggas. My niggas is out here doing big things right now. Yeah. They handling business. They taking care of their family. They not cheating. And my niggas is just... Like, niggas that got older, <laughs> niggas and grew up, and niggas understand what's important. Like, me being a single nigga, hopefully one day that shit happen for me, but until then, I mean, yeah, I'm no actually, bullshit. I'm running up the One door. day, I might, I might just fucking run and, uh, because I've had some years where, <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had some years where it's like a, a, a junk that I dealt with at one particular time I won't dealing with at the time like look you ain't got no valentine I ain't got no valentine let's go do so I know you work today it's a weekday but look this weekend let's got them let's act like it's valentine's for old time for sake. old time sake. and they gonna do it they wait it when, when you not no goofy ass like yeah cause number one, one like, number yeah. one if you still got access to them that way yeah they know unless they got a nigga I mean sometimes sometimes you, it sometimes, don't even matter <laughs> sometimes you with that but I mean unless let they me got tell a you what this like nigga you. did oh, yeah. so uh, what are you saying are you saying let me tell you what this nigga did cause you're coming by or are you telling me what this nigga did cause you wanna explain some shit yeah so it's like and that's actually the next topic too but we gonna get on that in a second but yeah so I, I, I've definitely had that but yeah I mean Valentine's is it's cool but I think I had damn. I, I was about to say something, but it wanted something. It was actually a question, and I started this shit off wrong. What so I to say is though, I got a piss. <laughs> we got to wrap up, but yeah, um, <laughs> that got the Hennessy then caught on to a nigga. <laughs> so look, um, what we got going on next? Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I love for for real though. Not like no, because we still got a couple of more things to. Uh, now I got you. So yeah, now the thing was platonic friendship. Oh, oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. I got I got some homies. I never you know what I mean, but I got some homies that cannot or will not. I ain't gonna say they can't, but they will not be friends with a female that they feel like they can't hit. Mm. Rather they trying to hit them or not is one thing or another, but My I feel honor. like sometimes your your female friends actually is beneficial because they might bring you mm -hmm. more so what you're looking for. Go ahead. This might be this might be big. This go definitely be big for the podcast. But um I tell you this, my honest opinion, 
every girl that I am friends with, whether we have done something or not, I have wanted to fuck. Yeah. That's me. That's that's just me. And and when I say that, it doesn't mean that I'm trying you. It doesn't mean that I'm going to try you. But I look at it like this. My homegirls, I don't have no ugly homegirls. Yeah. My I don't have no ugly homegirls. My homegirls is cute. They bad. They got ass. They got titties. Well, some of them do. Some of them don't. They got money. But, but they got One something. Thing I they got say something about the women about that's around them. They not no broke. No, they they. they good. That's what you know I what like. Saying? That's what I yeah. like around they, me because I need those type of they people. They not no broke jokes. They I, don't need forty dollars. No, no, no. Definitely gonna, not. Definitely you not. Offer, <laughs> they gonna take it and go buy a bottle of Hennessy. Yeah, but they don't need your little forty dollars. They might treat a nigga like a bitch. Hey, look, I give you this forty dollars. Just give me some dick. Nigga, go about your way. Like, fuck out of here, nigga. Nah, and don't call me neither. <laughs> like, like, fuck out of here. But real shit, though, like, I'm like this. If we have a platonic relationship, mm-hmm. I want you to know at the end of the day. That's why my all, I, yeah. I feel like all of my homegirls, they know. Don't get this shit fucked up. I am attracted to you. I think you're cool, but we're handling this strictly as friends. Yeah. And strictly as friends. But at the end of the day, I think you're beautiful. I think you have something about you. I wouldn't hang out with you if I didn't feel you were a type of woman that I would want to be around or have in my life. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So me personally, when people ask me, do you think men and women can be friends? Hell yeah, y'all can be friends. Yeah. Do you think men and women can only be friends? I'm not too sure about that. I just know how I carry my scenario with my women friends. Yeah, because there's a certain thing where, where, where they say, um, yeah, a nigga might not try to hit, but if you throw the pussy at him, he not going to be like, yo, what you doing? You tripping. Man, you catch I me mean, on a good day. <laughs> you get hit. I mean, for the most part, it's like, I got a couple, like, like female friends that, like, I never, never hit, never tried to hit. I don't even really look at them in that sense, like, yo, I, mm-hmm. I fuck the shit out of such and such. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And like some of like I know they dudes and all that. So mm-hmm. I'm the type of nigga where it's just certain lines I don't cross. Oh yeah. And, yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. it ain't it's even definitely. because of they nigga. It's cause I respect them enough they, not to and they jeopardize. Situation. Yeah. That's it. I respect them enough not to jeopardize this shit. A lot of times though, and this is this is what I'm the type of nigga like this. When it come to women and they niggas that I'm cool with and they niggas, they know. They know like these women when they got friends that's yeah. that's friends and that's cool, they bring them around they male friends or they let their male friends meet them like yo these are the bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they meet the bros and they realize like yo these is these is niggas but they treat you a yeah, certain like, way. You a nigga too. Like it, scare, it scares those niggas cuz they like at the end of the day I know they niggas. Yeah. And it's like but if you don't understand the type of boundary that's when that trust shit comes in that's hard for yeah. a lot of niggas to understand. Me, I'm the type of person like this. My girl, if she say she got nigga friends, I want to meet these niggas. Like, that's me yeah. personally. Those are your friends. Y'all can go out, but I at least want to meet these niggas. So, yeah. it, to me, it's like this. If I meet this nigga and y'all do got some shit going on, I'm going to be able to tell. I'm going to be able to tell because I know how I feel about you and I know how I carry it about you. Yeah, yeah. And I consider myself, a, I don't say all niggas are the same, but I consider, I have nigga tendencies. Yeah. And like, so, I think we all do. Yeah. So if I see that well, he has some of those saying, same yeah, tendencies. I'm, I'm much deeper. That don't mean I'm much different. Yeah. Very <laughs> facts. Facts. I'm much deeper, not much different. So if I can see some of those same demeanors that he likes about you, that I like about you. Yeah, I can understand how he would react in certain situations because I know you're a woman, and even though you go to your homegirls and vent, that's why you got male homeboys. That's yeah, the yeah, reason yeah. I got male, I mean, or female homegirls. Yeah, yeah, it's because I know when it's times, my niggas at times, I got niggas that be like, you know what, you need to handle things like this. Yeah, that's but, a fact. And I got niggas that savages, like you need to handle it like this. Yeah. At times, uh, I, I ain't gonna lie, a few of my female friends probably got me through some. Shit with very much so without me resorting to them for, for some other shit. It was just like they was just like, look, nigga, so, yo, and and I fuck with females because because they their honesty, yeah, like with a person that they have that they with. cool with, yeah, they cool say, with. They be lying a lot. Hoes be lying. <laughs> <laughs> what what the Chris Brown said, bitches be lying. That bitch lying. <laughs> lying. But yeah, but they tell me like, nah, Jai, you was wrong. Yeah, 
Like, what you mean, nah? I'm, I'm like, yo, nah, she's such a, nah, I'm gonna tell you why you was wrong. And she sit back and I'm like, man, mm-hmm. I'm gonna call you back. <laughs> and you gotta <laughs> like, handle it and you gotta adjust. And, yeah. and when I tell you, I done got homegirls that done got me out of situations. Yeah. Cause I'm, a, I'm, I'm such of a blunt type nigga. Yeah. I'm black and white like, like shit. That's, so either that's, something is that's wrong. That's my problem. Yeah, either that's something is wrong or something yeah. is right. To me, it ain't no middle. But what I had to learn through just women in general that yeah. I've been around my aunts, my uh, my cousins and shit like that. They, you can't, when it comes to these women, in which it took a long time for me to learn, I'm learning that through my daughters now. Yeah. Like when I try to be hard on them about shit, my baby mama checked me like, nigga, these is girls. Yeah. Like I understand that you want them to be ready for all of this, but they still females at the end of the day. So yeah. you have to adjust a certain way to the point where the one thing I learned when it comes to we, women is they really don't know what they want. Yeah. They say they know what they want. They seem like they know what they want. But at the end of the day, they're so fickle when it comes to certain things. It's like, well, you know what? I have to be open to the fact that even though you told me this, it might be like this. To where if a nigga say, look, I want that. That's yeah. exactly what that nigga want. That nigga wants that. Yeah. And, that, and so... Once I started learning those type of things and dealing with my homegirls and they was putting me on, shit, for one, life got a lot better with a lot of situations. Yeah. And so I get that. And and when it comes to these women and they come to me, all my homegirls, they know me. I give them straight nigga advice. Yeah. But at the same time, I check them when they being women. Like, you really weren't, this nigga doing this. I'm, well, the big thing, this nigga just want to play the game. <laughs> like, like, like I'm, I want this and that's I'm the like yes game. you need your you need your quality time I get that but yeah. if that nigga just want to chill and leave him alone leave him just leave him the fuck alone like yo it's either it's either that or bitch I can leave yeah and, 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 and be now you out don't here. know where the fuck I'm at and, and nigga just be at Bible study yeah that's all that's it is it, you know? and nigga just be at Bible study you know that's saying? all it is he's and, trying to learn the word or you know what I'm saying sometimes I go to Wednesday night service or something like that but. And that's and that's the crazy thing that's so hard about living in this life, man. Yeah. Because you because every every day it's a struggle. Every day it's a battle. I don't even know what the fuck I was just talking about after that. But, uh, <laughs> but all I'm all saying, <laughs> all I'm saying is. But anyway. <laughs> so, uh, before we wrap up, we always leave with a positive note, and I always let the mm. the guests and co-hosts go first. So. All right. My positive note. I want to say. This is a fucking crazy world we living in right now. If you black, if you white, if you got damn Hispanic, like it's shit bad for everybody right yeah. now. Like it's and crazy. when I when I tell you stay focused, stay focused, stay grinding. If you got dreams, try to achieve them. The hustle never stops. It never stops. For all my niggas out there doing their thing, the one thing that I can tell you right now is if you got these kids, the time is now. Make sure you in their life. Make sure you there for your children. Like mothers, 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 mothers. We can't, we can't even fathom the amount of gratitude that we need to give y'all right now for raising, help raising these kids and doing what y'all doing. Keep doing what you doing. We building the future. We are definitely building the future. And when it comes to everything that's going on right now, we got to have this positive mindset. Like, when it comes to all of this, laugh. Laugh. Life is too goddamn fucking short to not be laughing. To laugh not be every smiling. day. Every day. Laugh more. Laugh more. <laughs> laugh more like a motherfucker. I'm telling you, if no matter what you got going on, Keep laughing, keep a smile on your face, and I'm telling you, you will eventually make it through whatever it is that you're going through. And keep keep everything positive. It's hard, but just keep everything positive, and I'm telling you, you're gonna come out on the right side. Yeah. Um. All I can say is, M and M's don't taste the same in the clouds as they do in the volcano. All right, I'm out. Facts. Peace. <laughs>